passed or passed laws to explicitly grant doctors and pharmacists the right to refuse to dispense FDA approved legally prescribed drugs related to contraception based upon their personal, religious, or moral grounds. So far, Wisconsin law requires that emergency rooms dispense and even given any information about emergency contraception only upon request of the patient. In Nebraska, a new version of the so-called Conscious Clause laws would shield all pharmacists from legal repercussions even if they refuse to transfer a prescription to another pharmacist. And this is for all of you. If such legislation came up before you in the assembly, would you approve medical professionals having support of the state to disregard professional ethics in such life-changing or life-threatening situations? Ooh. <laughs> Hot topic. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so look, I, I think it's, I think, I think women's uh, health and reproductive rights uh, are women's choice. Uh, yes. I grew up. <laughs> and six aunts, and so I know, don't mess with women's rights, let alone uh, their, 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 their decision or their choice to choose. Um, I think this is a no-brainer. Um, I think whoever represents this district, uh, I think, needs to have that perspective. I mean, this is a Democratic seat. Um, you know, Barrett won at 68% in the recall. I think whoever holds this seat has to be a champion, not just of labor rights, not just for teachers and unions, but also I think for, for women's rights. Whether that's us or Deb, I mean, she's, she's probably the best equipped, literally. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I think no matter who it is, uh, they, have to, they have to keep that in mind. So I, don't, I don't think we should be, um, you know, uh, taking the Bible or, or a book of any religion and, and, and telling people that oh, if it's against their, their religion that they can't uh, legally uh, prescribe or, or distribute uh, women's health care related items. I mean, I think that's I think that's I think that's more way wrong. Um, you know, people would say the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. Well, I say, well, uh, I, I subscribe to the Constitution first, and so um, I would not support any legislation that's opposed to that. decisions in life about our medical care and that is another one where it is strictly a woman's decision and um, I, I feel I feel sadness if that is has to be the only choice but I certainly expect that it should be a choice and it should be their choice and um,
sex, sex education. I, 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 an advocate for contraception, being proactive, educating our children. But I have to be honest here with you on this issue. Because you need to know who I am. I'm, a, well, I'm an Irish Catholic. I don't, I'm pro-life, I'll just say it that way. I do not want to force my beliefs on you. But I cherish life so much that I just don't believe that abortion should be a simple elective measure just because I don't want to have a child. And many of you here probably won't agree with me on that, but I, you have to know that about me. This issue has passed through my life more than once. And um, you know, this is a very personal issue. It needs to stay in your, in your home and you make that own decision. But my son was working in Chicago. His wife was in pharmacy school and they came home one weekend and guess what? They're pregnant. What are we going to do? And we talked about this at length. What are your options? But I said, in my opinion is, your mom and I are here. We will do all we can to help you raise that child. We think you should have the child. And they did, and my granddaughter is four years old, and she is the love of my life. Now, that's your business. I stand so firm with women's rights, that's your business to choose. And I want to tell you a story about how valuable that is to me. I uh, worked, my partner as a paramedic for several years was a young woman named Jamie Keshnick. And she could do it all. Equal pay, equal work, in fact, she is the first lieutenant on the Janesville Fire Department. But again, I'm saying I'm, re I'm re over and over because I'm glad this finally has come up because I, I feel relieved about this. And I don't want to apologize, but I understand if you disagree with me on this. But you know, I'm glad it came out, and um, thank you for letting me express my feelings. Yes. Please, please do it. I respect your position about abortion. Yes, I respect your beliefs. But Scott Walker and the Republican legislature, they have made it clear that if they can, they will place laws in effect that will either make it very difficult or near on impossible for a woman to get an abortion in the state. If legislation, if you're elected, and if legislation is introduced that would make abortion in this state illegal, would you vote for it? No. But I will be a proponent of to choose life. That's how I choose in my life. If you come into my house and ask me what to do, that's what I will do, and I will, and that's just who I am. Right now, in our society, there will be that choice. I mean, it's this human nature right now in America that that's there. And as a representative, and as a healthcare provider, firefighter, paramedic, it's imperative to me, even though I don't agree with it, that it's done safely. That, that we don't have some sort of, you know, since before 73, I'm not sure exactly what was going on with this issue. You know, I don't know, I was in high school and it wasn't something on my radar. But, you know, I've talked to my father, Randy, I've talked to other lay people in my community, you know, when this thing passes through your life, it's a whole different scenario. You know, you start talking about rape and incest and medical necessity and, and viability and, you know, these things are just tragic, are tragedies. So I, I don't know if I answered your question or not. That's not on my agenda. I don't think that's on, yes. Would you vote for that? No, I'd be glad to ask this lady. Go ahead. Thank you. Well, that's up to you. I'm going to ask for you.